Hey everyone, thanks for everyone to play games. My name is Lance, and today I'll be doing an unboxing video for Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. This is a brand new release from Cyphlofair Games. It is a one to four player game that takes roughly an hour to two hours to play, depending upon the scenario you've chosen to play, and is either a standalone or an expansion. For those of you that have not experienced Gloomhaven yet, this is a great entry point as it's going to provide four brand new characters and a new campaign. And then from there, if you want to, you can get into the bigger boxed Gloomhaven or if you already own Gloomhaven, this is again a standalone so you can play it by itself. You can mix it with Gloomhaven. You can bring in characters from Gloomhaven or Frosthaven once it comes out and add those in and try them and see how they do in the campaign that's included. Or again, you can take the characters from this and add them into your other games of Gloomhaven and Frosthaven as well. So everything is compatible and everything is self-contained. So if you don't have those products, you can pick this up and this is all you need to experience Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. So let me go ahead and jump in and show you what is in the box. So we start off with a welcome to Gloomhaven, and this is a little bit of a description, it looks like, breakdown of how everything is stored within the, the game box, and a breakdown of all the different components in that. And if you have not had a chance to, or if you have not played Gloomhaven yet, Watch It Played has done a video for it as well. I love Rodney Smith's stuff, and he really does a excellent job, and is, has, sets the bar for teaching videos. Uh, one of my favorite content creators, and... I will also be working on a teaching video for this series, whether it's Gloomhaven or Frosthaven, uh, but uh, mine's going to be a little bit of a ways out there. So from here, then we have the rule book, it looks like, and this breaks down all the different rules for this version of Gloomhaven. And again, this is a expansion, but it also is a standalone. So if you haven't gotten into Gloomhaven yet and you're looking just to kind of see if this is something that is of interest to you, if you're gonna like this style of game, then this is a great option for that as this is, again, like I said, a standalone version of Gloomhaven, or you can add it in as, as an expansion as well. So this is a really nice lower cost way of getting into Gloomhaven if you have not played before. Then we have this, which is a glossary. So this breaks down more of the terms and that gives you more definitions and uh, goes into more detail about some of this stuff. So a good reference looks like they have kind of followed suit with fantasy flight and that and broken it into a couple of different books in a way i don't know if that's quite the same thing but so we have those two the supplemental uh, scenario book so this will provide us with some of the scenarios i don't want to give away too much of this stuff but it looks like we have all kinds of cool things with that and in additional the main scenario book and again this is going to go through all the different scenarios that are included in the game. Again, I'm not going to flip through this. I don't want to give too much away. I want to keep those as surprises. A set of stickers for the locations in Gloomhaven fashion as you go through the game. You're going to unlock new locations and areas and all kinds of different things in a legacy style game where as you make decisions, things are going to change. Then we have all the different board punch boards that you're going to get for the health tokens, the different coins, and all the different board tokens for that. All the different condition tokens, treasure chests, and effects tokens here. These are wooden in the regular, in the full version of Gloomhaven. They have little punch boards for those. All the different enemy types. Wow, that's cool. We got snakes and all kinds of interesting creatures to go up against. This big bad guy with his power sword. The different elemental conditions board and more of the different creatures and enemies you're gonna be going up against. More enemies. You got some big guys here. Oh man, some different golems and different things. Awesome. And more tokens. We got, looks like, wood piles. Haven't seen some of these before. And then some of these different uh, labeling tokens in that. Not, I haven't seen those in the original Gloomhaven, so that's something that's new. And a new board. 
So it's a single board. This is a nice little condensed board, it looks like. It's got the grid system to break down and everything. This is the board you'll be attaching those stickers to that I showed you. It's got a nice finish on the back, really nice production value on that. And then we get into the underneath, there's a little tray that keeps everything as you take those tokens out. And again, this paper references that and shows you exactly where everything goes within this. So that's really nice. And it's got a lid that will keep everything in place. Probably going to have to throw a rubber band on it. It uh, does, it is a little shaky, but that's all right. We have our health tokens. You get four of those to track the health and experience throughout your games. The different uh, character cards for the uh, battle, the bonus battle deck, and the item deck. So, pretty good amount of items there. And then we have the different uh, uh, goal cards, if I remember correctly, and again the different uh, city cards in that. And each one of these has got its own little section. All the boss uh, effects cards in that that will reveal you'll reveal each round uh, for each enemy that comes out, and they'll have their different effects as well as their enemy's initiative in that. So those will cover all the new enemy types that are included. And then you have the standees again. And there's two different versions. You have your regular and then the elite enemies. And they'll, they'll have different stats based on their types. A collection of plastic bags to keep everything once you punch stuff out. Looks like uh, divider cards. So that's nice. Help keep everything organized for your different card types. All the different enemy cards. And again, based on the hero's level, that the enemies will kind of level up with the heroes. So you're always going to be facing challenging enemies. And it breaks down all of their different stats, their wounds, their movements, attack types, and other special effects. And again, based on their levels and that. And those will all be sleeved in there based on the scenario into these. And this is going to have the enemy type based on the stuff I talked about, and then the number of enemies that are out there, you'll use these different slots to keep track of all the wounds and conditions on those enemies as well. So really cool idea for them. And then all of the different miniatures, you have the four character classes in there, and I'll open up a couple of these to show you guys what they look like. So these are cool. We got the new character types there. Awesome. And I'll, t well, and I'll open up each one of those to show you the, the new characters as well. And then there's also four boxes that are sealed. So throughout the campaign, as you play through, it's going to tell you when you can open up these. So I have no idea what's in these, but those will be fun to experience as we get into the campaign. And then again, you'll have, there's four starting character classes in this one. So let's go ahead and pop these open and see what is in these. So we'll start with the top one. And each one of these will it has self-contained. It has all the different things for the character. So the character's tokens. We have a set of battle cards for bonus cards for that. And these will be the upgrade cards. These will be added at different times. As you level up your character, you'll get to add them into your starting character deck. And then we also have another set of cards. Again, these are the upgrade cards that you'll add in as you go along and then the characters card so this is the demolitionist and he's got some really cool new artwork and it also comes with a character uh board to keep track of all your different things as you go through the campaign and then on the back is a little bit of a backstory about this type of character and the class of that character or the race of that character to give you a little bit more background on that and then each character has a number of hit points based on their level. It has locations for the items of that character, conditions, and their different discard piles, active pile, the number of cards that they're going to start with, and then their logo or their class logo. So a little bit different of a layout than the main Gloom Gloomhaven board characters. But again, these are completely compatible with Gloomhaven and Frosthaven. So if you enjoy these characters or you want to experience the campaigns in some of the other uh, games as well, you can use these, mix and match them. As time goes on, you'll be able to include those other characters too if you pick up those other games. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next character and see what that character looks like. And I won't put all of these back away. Save a little bit of time 
on that. So this character, again, each one of these has the same stuff in it. So I'm just going to pull out the character card for this one. So this is a red guard. And man, that guy looks awesome. I love that art. He has got some super armor on. So maybe he is going to be more of a defensive character with uh, with his stuff. And it just, he looks awesome. So I think that might be the character that I play as a start, but let's see what these other two characters are that are included in the game. So then we have, oh, the Void Warden. Oh, that could be like a cleric cla class or something like that. So that's going to be a hard, hard pull because I do like my clerics. I do enjoy playing a defensive healing class as well. So this one might be, that might be a hard, hard decision for me. I don't know. I'm not sure which one I'm going to play now, but that character looks really cool as well. And the final character that's included in the game is a hatchet character. Okay, so this guy looks more like a maybe a, like a rogue character potentially, or a uh, maybe like a ranger character. Looks like he is on his own a lot potentially. I don't know. We'll have to find out. But he also starts with a good amount of cards, so. Some really cool characters. Love the art style on these guys. So I'll be diving into these more in later videos. Well, I hope that gave you guys a good idea of what comes in the box. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Also, let me know in the comments below what other type of coverage you would like to see. I've been thinking about doing some sort of a campaign where I play through the, the book and experience that. Is that something you guys would be interested in? Would you like it if I just covered a couple of the missions or broke them up as far as the filming time? Would you like to see where I only cover the highlights of a game? Or do you want to see the full game in action from start to finish? Let me know in the comments below. And or if there's any other types of content that you would like to see covering this title or other titles moving into the future. I'd love to start some conversations. And as always, if you find these videos helpful, if you enjoy what I do, please consider that like button, subscribing to my channel. It's one of the easiest ways you can support ch uh, channels like mine so we can continue to grow and produce content. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.